So, we got ourselves a very interesting turn of events. Islam Makhachev, who was originally scheduled to defend his lightweight title against Charles Oliveira at UFC 294, will now defend his title against the current featherweight champion of the world, Alexander Volkanovsky. Charles Oliveira unfortunately had to pull out from the fight due to an injury, making this the second time Volkanovsky will get a chance at champ champ status. The two men initially fought at UFC 284, and let me tell you, it was a banger of a fight, completely exceeding all expectations. And even though Volkanovski is taking this second fight on just a few days notice, I have no doubt in my mind that this next one will be just as good as the first, maybe even better, considering the lessons they both learned in the first bout. In the first fight, it was evident that both fighters sort of underestimated the other's ability to fight in their domain. Islam, being the dominant grappler that he is, probably didn't expect to meet the level of difficulty he met trying to take down and hold down Alexander Volkanovsky. And with Alexander Volkanovsky being the brilliant striker that he is, he probably also didn't expect the level of striking he encountered with Islam. It wasn't a clear striker versus grappler matchup that they probably thought it was gonna be. It was a mixed martial artist versus mixed martial artist fight, and this is something both men will definitely have to be much better prepared for. And with that, let's talk about a few keys to victory. With Volkanovski, it's gonna be so important that he doesn't allow himself to get backed up against the cage. Because Islam, just like Habib, is an absolute master at using the cage as a weapon to secure takedowns. And let me tell you man, in a 5 minute round, getting pinned against the cage by Islam can absolutely run down the clock rapidly. And then when he finally escapes, he'll feel the need to rush his striking to make up for the lost time. And that's where Islam typically finds small openings to land pinpoint accurate left hand counters. He has to keep this fight in the center of the octagon where defending takedowns will be much more viable. When you look at the last fight, the most success Volkanovski had on the feet came from moments where he used intricate feints to get Islam to back up slightly, then he would blitz forward with combination punches, forcing Islam to back up in a straight line and then crack him hard as he retreats. When he couples this with his leg kicks as a combination ender as Islam retreats, he finds so much success on the feet. Now this next part might sound counterintuitive, but I think Volkanovski is a very strong man, even at lightweight, and he also has a lot of skills when it comes to pinning and controlling opponents for long periods of time against the cage. He demonstrated this multiple times at featherweight against multiple opponents, and he even demonstrated this at different points in the first fight against Islam. And even though this is a risky tactic to try to use against someone like Islam, I think it's always beneficial to give the opponent more things to worry about as opposed to just having to worry about your striking. For Islam Makhachev, I think this fight will be a lot less complicated for him if he uses his reactive takedowns a lot more than he normally does. When Alexander Volkanovsky attempts to blitz forward with boxing combinations, rather than backing up in a straight line, I think it would be dope if Islam changes levels, gets in on the hips, runs the pipe, and tries to take down Volkanovski in the center of the cage. Even if Volkanovski is able to scramble and get back up immediately, this will greatly discourage further blitzing combinations and in turn open up Islam's striking. Now when it comes to striking, I think Islam does a much better job of poking and kicking range with his roundhouse to the body and his front kicks to the body. And then when the opponent, of course, gets tired of getting poked from kicking range and attempts to close the distance, he can either fire off his left hand as a counter, which we definitely saw him use against Volkanovski in the first fight, or again, he can use reactive takedowns, level chain, get in on the hips, and take him down. Now, even though this is not a basic striker versus grappler matchup, it is pretty clear who has an advantage when it comes to striking or grappling. Islam Makhachev is the better grappler and Alexander Volkanovski is the better striker. And the winner of this fight is going to be the fighter that is able to keep the fight in their domain the longest while also remaining very dangerous in the other's domain. With these two men, 
we can always expect greatness. In UFC 294, Islam Makhachev versus Alexander Volkanovsky 2 will be just that, a display of greatness. May the best man win.